to get rid of China? I think Vinny, uh, evolution is something which is constant and mother nature or the evolution creates options. That is another constant in this world. So what happens is because today, before this COVID, China was seen as a factory of the world. The Chinese were seeing nice, small little guys who will do a work cheap for you and who will deliver on time. But with this COVID, with the Huawei stealing data, with these apps doing what they do, and with the CCP's dangerous designs of, you know, capturing the minds and lives of people, the world has waken, woken up. Only the, it's a matter of time. The richer, the prosperous people will leave first. The others will leave later. These block, this richer, prosperous block, which you call, they will create options. They have to go and create options because that is how the things have will shape. Because these even African countries we need today are not buying the Chinese vaccine. Now, China went to them and said, why don't you give, you know, they are putting people in a very difficult situation. Look, I have a vaccine. Now the country says, look, I don't have the money to buy. Okay, take a billion dollars, buy a vaccine. Okay, what about the trials? You're not done the clinical trials. Okay, give me uh, 500 of your men, I'll do the clinical trials. Look, 4,200 men doing clinical trials for Chinese vaccine in Bangladesh, under 1,200 in Indonesia and 500 cement workers doing in Nepal. What is this all about? So these people might be compelled at this point of time, but when the people of the countries they rise, they can no longer be used as guinea pigs. Their sovereignty, their civilization, their ethos, their existence is under existential threat from China. Things change, politics change, and the evolution and the world will throw options. Maybe US's policy changes, and India, it is the right time for India to take a world stage. You see, Vinny, 